Well, you've likely read about cases where teens and adults were shot and killed by police for carrying what looks like a real gun. Yeah, and Kenner police were recently faced with a similar situation. Fortunately, theirs had a better ending, and Meg Ferris is joining us with the details on how this all unfolded. Meg? That's right, Cherise and Katie. Well, today we got to see these guns side by side, and picking them up didn't help either because they felt like they were the same weight and the same kind of heavy metal. Here, see what you think. Take a look at these guns. They're handguns, revolvers, and semi-automatic rifles. Are they real? If so, which ones? Can you pick out which ones are BB guns? Well, early Saturday morning, this man on Roosevelt near Veterans could not tell. He is coming up my ramp. Help me, help me, they're trying to kill me. I, I'm looking around and he's like, they're on top of the roof. I'm think, thinking this guy's on drugs or he's having a psych, psychic breakdown. And he's like, here, hold this, hold this, hold this. And he, it's a gun wrapped in a thing. Man, get that away from me. And neither could Kenner police officers answering 911 calls of a man aiming a gun at cars driving by. They drew their guns and told the man, drop your weapon. It's a threat. It's a threat not, not only to them, but to the, to the general public. Um, I would say if that, if that individual did not um, drop that weapon, it'd be a whole different story today. That's why Kenner Police Chief Keith Conley wants you to see these weapons side by side. Now look, we've marked the real guns with a yellow post-it. He says, imagine if you're an officer on the scene. They have a split second to make a determination. Uh, and as you see with these weapons, if that's pointed at you, you're going to eliminate that threat. In the last six years, over 300 people have been shot by, by the authorities when they approach somebody with these kind of weapons. This neighbor says at 18, you can buy one of these look-alike BB guns from big box stores. He did. When my mom saw me come out the room with that gun for the first time, she was highly upset. What was she afraid was going to happen to I you? was going to get shot by the police, honest to God. Both he and the chief want these BB guns clearly changed so there's no confusion out on the streets. On Saturday, the man was taken into protective custody. The rifle was a BB gun, but it just adds to what this Kenner neighborhood and police have to deal with regularly. In the parking lot, they use drugs, drink all day. They're not looking for work. They sit there, they hang out there all day, they sleep there. Now, the chief says some of the real firearms and BB guns are made by the same manufacturer, or they sell the licensing for the design and markings to toy companies so they can replicate their weapons. So he plans now to talk to lawmakers to get guidance on how to move forward to make these weapons look completely different.